Every single person will have a different experience when they get high. And even the same person can have different experiences each time. It can depend on many things, like the strain of the grass, the environment you're in, and overall the type of person you are. But with that being said, I do know some of the most common types of people when they're high. Starting with Paranoid Peter. Paranoid Peter will take a few hits and his brain will go on overdrive, imagining the worst scenario he could possibly be in. And he'll just slowly convince himself that it's real. Hey, how you doing? Shit, he knows I'm high. He probably knows that I jaywalked last week too. Fuck, I'm going to jail for life. Buddy, are you okay? Fine, I'm high as hell and I, I illegally crossed the road last week. Next up, we got Mary with the munchies. Mary will get zooted and go ham on all the food in the vicinity. She'll have DoorDash, Skip the Dishes, Uber Eats, knocking on her door like they're the IRS or something. But I'm not gonna lie, I know we've all been there. No, no not with the IRS, I I'm talking about the munchies. Because food when you're high simply hits different. You go from just chewing, swallowing, and digesting your food, to dissecting and distinguishing each particular particle of that food. And I don't know why, but your brain never tells you if you're full. So you can just eat food infinitely. Next, we got Chill Charlie. Chill Charlie is just so laid back. Once this dude takes a puff, he is just nonchalant. And nothing in the world can make this man start chalanting. Charlie, they found the kids in our basement. Chill out, dude. It's all gonna be alright. Hey, hands behind your back. Yo, calm down. Why are you so aggressive? And of course, we got Sleepy Sam. You see, Sleepy Sam has had a long day at work. He decides what would be a better way to end the day than to light up some Bubba Kush. <laughs> We can't forget about George with the giggles, man. George just be laughing at anything when he's high. And it's the best when you get two high Georges in a room. <laughs> you could hit George with some devastating news and there's nothing he can do but laugh. George, I I'm so sorry, man. I, I just crashed your new Bugatti. Honestly, at this point, literally anything can make him laugh. Uh, okay, M maybe not anything. Next up, we got Mumbling Martin. Some motherfuckers just be smoking and start to think they're Cardi or something. Like, after a few hits, they start to invent a whole new language. Damn, it's like dick can't be hit, man. Whoa, wait, what? <laughs> I said dick can't be hit. Can you just speak up a little bit? You can't hold me. You can't, you can't tell me. Speak up. And man, we all know a coughing Carl. Yeah, yeah, bro. Can you pass me that grass? God damn. God bless America. We got sober Sophia. Yo, Sophia, take a hit. No. And what about immobilized Eric? I don't know if any of y'all have experienced this before, but sometimes Eric be smoking a little too much and it's like his controller just disconnects. Like wherever he smokes, he will be there in the same position for the whole night. Yo, yo bro, we're going home. Ain't no way Eric is still here, bruh. There has to be some sort of brain muscle disconnect when he smokes. Because you could 360 roundhouse this motherfucker and he would still be chilling in the same spot he smoked. That is, until the effect just wears off. And we got Philosopher Phil. Listen, I don't know what Phil smokes, but whatever it is, it seems to rewire his brain and turn him into a modern Aristotle. <sighs> if a time machine is ever made in the future, then it has always existed. Yeah, bro, I, I never thought about it like that. How can you prove to me that you even exist? Uh, I, I don't know, I, I just- Was math discovered? Or was it created? Uh, create- wait, wait. No, no discover- Are we a body with a mind, or, or just a mind with a body? Hey, bro, I'm way too high for this shit.